someone that is actually trying to qualify for one of these events and the competitive level there requires different mindset and behavior. That's very difficult, right? Because it hurts. What's going on, everybody? It's Physical Friday. We're continuing our Mindset of a Champion series, and this time we're talking about that, those athletes and individuals in whatever kind of thing you're into, it could be even fishermen, thinking about going to the next level, the highest level. For a bass fisherman, that would maybe be the Bassmaster Classic. For saltwater fishermen, you're going to compete at the highest level of the redfish tournaments or go to the move from the recreational tournaments to the pro level. For an athlete, it might be you're, you've been running local uh, marathons and 10Ks for a while. Now you're going to try to get a time that will qualify you for the Boston Marathon. That's a great benchmark accomplishment in many people many people's athletic careers. Some people are, are Ironman triathletes. They want to qualify for Hawaii. Other people are CrossFit athletes. They want to qualify and go to the CrossFit Games. And there is a major difference between your recreational athlete that's just happy to be out there running to someone that is actually trying to qualify for one of these events. And the competitive level there requires different mindset and behavior. I asked Kevin Kester, three-time CrossFit Games Masters champion, ask him what his thoughts are because he has certainly done this. He has done exactly that of going from being a local athlete to competing in the CrossFit Games and then actually going on to winning the CrossFit Games. Kevin had some really, really important information to share, and here we go with Kevin. You have to be willing to train like you're going to compete and that's very difficult, right? Because it hurts. It hurts worse than going to a class. It hurts worse than um, the consistency part. Like you need to get in, you need to train. And I'm not saying every day, but you need to have that mindset. Like, okay, uh, for instance, yesterday I was doing a workout with a 100 pound D ball pickups, throw over four foot boxes, jump over the box, burpee, you know, and it was just 50 for time. So it's just a grunt workout. Um, so in my mind, I'm like, okay, do the first 10, look at the clock, see where I'm at, and stay on that pace or beat that pace for the rest of the pro. And it, it was sickening. But, you know, you have to, you have to be willing to do that. You know, you got to be willing, willing to push yourself every day. Obviously having good partners when training is, is good, but you know, I can do the same thing with or without a partner, to be honest. So take it from Kevin. I don't have, uh, experience with the CrossFit games yet. So I'm listening on every word that Kevin says, but I do have uh, experience on taking the fishing to the next level and going to the most competitive fishing environments. And the advice that Kevin had for making it to the games or making it to the Boston Marathon or to the Hawaii Ironman, it all applies, man. It's all the same. You have to make a commitment. You have to train like you're going to compete. And so for fishing guides, that means, you know, you have to go fishing in every condition. You have to challenge yourself to where you're going to fish for a fish that is very difficult to catch under the conditions that you have. Because on tournament day, you may have those conditions, right? So um, a, lot of the, a lot of the same advice applies. Whatever endeavor you're going to use it in training like you're going to compete having the mindset of a winner that is very very important so we're going to continue with this series i hope you're getting something out of it if you are text me at 305-930-7346 maybe there's some other topics that you'd like discussed otherwise we'll see you next week on physical friday mindset of a champion 